We just did an exercise chopping up an apple to talk about yield percent. And we looked at the textbook to see what it was like. But now let's do a little bit of teacher lecture about percent. So percent means out of 100. And if you see a percent symbol, then that means out of 100, because that's what percent is, right? So I'm going to write at the top 47%. Now that percent symbol isn't a math thing. That's just a symbol. If I want to do any math with that 47%, I need to exchange that symbol for something else. And we know four ways to do out of 100 with arithmetic. We could say that out of 100 means divided by 100. So I could say that 47% with a percent symbol is the same thing as 47 divided by 100. I'm just replacing the percent symbol with a divided by 100. Everyone with me so far? Okay, great, that's one thing we can do. It's also true that two decimal point scoots to the left is a shortcut for divided by 100. If you just took a whole bunch of numbers with your calculator and did divided by 100 to all of them, you would notice a pattern. It's two decimal point scoots to the left. So I could take that percent symbol and replace it by 47 with two decimal point scoots to the left. Okay, so far, mm -hmm. I could write a number with a fraction whose denominator is 100. When you were just looking in the textbook, that's what they did first. So I could say that 47%. It is an annoying noise outside, oh, yes. Like Darth Vader snoring or something. I can replace it with out of 100 that way. And then the last thing I can do is I could take 47% and replace the percent symbol with a times 1 over 100. So we have four different things that are math things that mean out of 100. Divided by 100, two decimal point scoots to the left, write it as a fraction with 100 as the denominator, or times 1 over 100. And different things you do with percents in real life, different types of problems, one of these will be the easy way to do it. Depending on your situation, different ones of these will be the obvious thing to do, the easy thing to do. So you don't want to only do one because sometimes that will work and other times that's the hard way to do it. So if we were really doing a lecture on percent today, we would go through different things we do with percents and see when is divided by 100 the great thing to do. When is decimal point scoops the great thing to do? When is write it over 100 the great thing to do? And when is times one over 100 the great thing to do? and then we would know how to be efficient and happy with everything we do with percents. What we did so far, when we're doing a division part divided by whole, and when we got a decimal point, then we were doing the opposite of the decimal point scoots. If putting a percent, if getting rid of a percent sign means we go to the left two spaces, then putting a percent sign on means we have to go to the right two spaces. That's to be fair. If we say, if we put the symbol on, it means divided by 100. And that changes the number. I can't just divide the number by 100 because I want to. So to be fair, I have to also multiply it by 100 also. So the multiply by 100 and the divide by 100 from the symbol cancel out. Then I haven't changed my number. 
next. Okay, that's my mini lecture about four different things that mean out of 100. We're not really focusing on percents today anymore, but we'll use this in the future. <laughs>